Gary's Gadgets! <laughs> Alright, uh, today I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, I got uh, something something today. Let me uh, switch the uh, camera over. Show you the... Uh, these are the Harbor Freight uh, free LED, or you can spend a lot of money, but why would you do that when you can get the coupons for... <coughs> Or, uh, you get them for free so over the over the years I've picked up several and wind up giving them away because you know cheap but they're really handy I mean they have um, um, a big light and then a smaller light on the ends if you've never seen them before uh, they have power buttons and uh, they have a magnet so you can attach it to metallic surfaces and they also have a hook so it's, it's really nice um, work work uh, thing. Of course you can see this one's obviously been used more than that. Uh, right off the bat, uh, there's the big difference is they changed out the LEDs. These, this, whoops, the other end. <coughs> These have um, three uh, LEDs here and then this one has an array of 24 LEDs and I'm not sure exactly how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight probably LEDs or points that make up this one band of LEDs. So um, they work by pressing the button and you get um, the lights and then you want a little brighter and then uh, press again, it's off, press it one more time, oops, there we go, and uh, so uh, yeah, that's uh, so simple flashlights. I just thought it would be interesting to see how much they've changed since um, this, I think, is one of the early ones. Uh, like I said, the main difference is the LEDs. Uh, little switch. Uh, they, uh, there we go. Um, this has a little power indicator on it, where this is flat. Um, heft wise, this weighs just a little bit more than this. So there's, uh, I'm not sure if that's due to the batteries or just the fact that they have a lot more going on of the uh, LEDs and then uh, flipping them over uh, to change the batteries you actually have to open them up so I'm not sure and uh, right, right off the bat I noticed uh, uh, they probably just save money they uh, swap out the batteries or not batteries swap out the batteries but they uh, have different uh, screws so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this one and unscrew it, maybe. Those three bad or three screws out, and these are smaller. Yeah, I think I can still use the same screwdriver. It's just barely. Um, so right off the bat, you can see these are um, bring the screws in. This one uses machine screws, and this one is using. Almost like some machine screws, but I mean they're not. <coughs> they thread it so that they uh, are tapped. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's one of the differences. So let's go ahead and pop this open, and you can see I already swapped the batteries in this one once already. Um, so I got my sunbeam, but look what the. Um, you can uh, see where the screws go in right off the bat. That's uh, a lot different. <coughs> so then let's go ahead and oh, I have to take the. Uh, 
Let's see what we got in here. Well, we got Warriors batteries. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can see the ball attaches differently. The uh, um, magnet location, you can see this is just held in with a, it's probably a little magnet that's just clamped in there and twisted, so they save money there. Um, the ball is actually, this one is held in place by screws there, which probably explains why it's so loose. Go ahead and tighten this nose up and maybe yeah, it won't swing around as much. All right, so <coughs> right off the bat, we got that going. Mm. Not sure if I can get into the rest of it or not. Yeah. I think it's meant to be taken apart. No, I don't know if I want to break them. Yeah, these batteries have seen better days. I probably should go ahead and get new batteries and clean this up. They're uh, leaking. Good thing I took this apart. Um, and these batteries are. Let's see if there's any. Oh, okay, there's screws. Okay. Might as well take the batteries out. Screws. Of course, I anticipated that. So, I'll go ahead and take this apart. This is exciting, isn't it? Fails to use pliers or an exacto knife. All right, so ooh. yeah, so we've got this. Um, these screws over there. Okay, so this little plastic chrome cover. That's where the button is, and uh, yeah, whole board to hold the. Uh, I don't want to. Oh, there's a screw hole in there, so so hopefully I can remember how to put all this back together. Okay. We got that array. Mm. Yeah, so it's really just batteries straight into the switch. There's a resistor, another resistor there. Um and they're wired up. The switch and uh, cool. Let's uh, see what's in this one though. Obviously, they don't wouldn't need that big of a board for the uh, smaller LED strip. I think 
one of the things they did was use the same same screws on the inside as they did to hold the whole unit together. So that's probably probably saves in manufacturing. You only need one set of one kind of screw. So and that oh man. Big difference, so where did that go? Okay. Do it again. All right, so this one they've mounted <laughs> the PCB board is dinky, and then the, it's like the switch is not identical. It's it's very close. I'm not even going to unscrew that because I can see what's going on. And then it just has the one um, plastic chrome that's uh, actually stuck to this. So, yeah. So, yeah, that explains why uh, it weighs less. I'm pretty sure the battery or the rare earth magnet they're using in this old one is a little stronger because these do have a tendency to slide down the uh, refrigerator even though they weigh less so yeah huh cool now I gotta figure out how to put all it back together but I'm not gonna bother you with that so guess we'll catch you later Gary's Gadgets <laughs>